One of the major challenges facing pastoralism today in, uh, in the drylands area of Africa is that public policy doesn't support livestock mobility. There's a perception by policymakers that uh, livestock mobility is irrational, uh, is not modern, uh, it's a backward way of raising animals, which fails to understand that in dryland environments where a lot of pastoralism is actually practiced and where uh, pastures and water are scattered across the environment because of the rainfall, it makes more sense to be mobile than it is to be sedentary. One of the reasons why public policy doesn't recognize pastoralism and how it works is that there's, they aren't good mechanisms to allow pastoral people to uh, have dialogue with uh, government policymakers. There is a, there is a disconnect uh, between citizens and state, uh, and this is therefore um, contributing to the fact that uh, policymakers don't fully understand how pastoral systems function. We have seen positive uh, changes to policy over the last 10 or 15 years. Uh, the African Union have passed uh, a pastoralism framework document, which is, uh, which is very positive and very supportive. The challenge is there uh, is in the implementation of these uh, policies and the uh, allocation of resources, financial resources by government to ensure that they are um, taken forward.